Good evening. Good evening, Ms. Rachna. And uh, yeah, good evening, good evening, ma'am, and uh, <coughs> respected resource person, Ranchini Haridas. Hello, sir. Yeah. How are you? Present? Yes, present. 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 Okay. Okay. Good evening. Hearty welcome. Good evening. And, okay, thank uh, you so much. Did you, sir? Good evening, sir. I'm taking attendance. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> well, all participants, hearty welcome to Extra My. Let's begin. Vijay sir, please introduce Rachana. Okay, sir. Okay. Rachana Bhargava is a passionate educator having work experience of 12 years in the field of education. Presently, she is as PGT Commerce and head of the Department of Social Science. She also has corporate experience of three years. She has the experience of conducting in-house workshops and educational webinars, such as BTG, Innovative Teaching Strategies, Happy Classrooms, Education Across the Globe, Future Leaders, be ready future teachers, work-life balance, designing MCQs, dealing with adolescent behavior and Sahodia seminars as well. Hearty welcome, Ms. Rachana Bhargava. The stage is yours. Please proceed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for a wonderful start. A very good evening and namaste to all the dignitaries and educators present here. Welcome everyone to this insightful webinar hosted by Extra Mile, which is an exclusive platform created by founder of BTAG, Dr. Ab Abdul Salam Sir, for providing online and offline trainings. I am Vishnu Bhargav, your moderator for today's session, and together we'll explore a variety of tools and resources that we as educators can utilize to enhance the early learning years experience. As we embark on this journey of learning and growth, I take a moment to express my gratitude to Dr. Abdul Salam sir for giving me this opportunity to moderate this webinar on the topic, learning, playing and interacting, master tools and resources for early years. And also warm regards to all the participants who have joined us. It surely indicates your passion for early childhood education and development. Before we begin with today's session, there are a few things that I would like to brief you about. If you have any query during the session, please don't hesitate to reach out. It can be conveyed through the meeting chat box. In order to have an interactive experience, you may clear your doubts by asking questions. Kindly use the virtual hand raise button and wait for your name to be called out for asking your question. The participants will have the opportunity to receive a certificate only after filling up the certificate and feedback form. Link will be shared at the end of the session. Kindly stay till the end of the session. Let me now invite Dr. Abdul Salam sir, principal of Vibgyur High Bangalore School. He has worked as the assessor of NABET, National Accreditation Board for Education and Training, Government of India. He is the CBSE resource person and master trainer, founder and CEO of BTEC and now the Extra Mile. I welcome you sir for presidential address. Thank you ma'am. Good to see both of you on Extra Mile platform. Respected Biju sir and uh, respected educators, hearty welcome to Extra Mile education platform. Thank you so much for joining. Well, I extend a heartfelt appreciation to Ranjini ma'am for offering uh, this particular session as we are always looking for learning and uh, resources indeed are most important when we talk about early years. Without resources, classes cannot happen. 
So at the outset, let me salute all the earlier educators because the, they are the pillars of an institution and uh, they are the most, you know, <clears throat> what do you call, most important uh, elements of a, uh, an educational setup wherein they take care of these little ones with utmost, you know, diligence. So thank you so much for joining. And of, of course, we can understand that earlier classrooms are strugglesome to an extent and uh, half of the time goes in settling down the children. Uh, so unless and until we are equipped, uh, this settlement goes takes too much time. So here today, of course, you will take a lot of things from Rajini Ma'am. I have seen her room set up with a full of resources. She has sent me a photo. She bought so many things today, including storybooks. So it's a great appreciation to you, Rajini Ma'am, for your passion, your dedication. That is going to benefit all the teachers, all the earlier educators here. Uh, the educators, let us listen to Rajini Ma'am and uh, implement so many things for, for the little ones, the little stars in your classroom. Thank you so much. Hearty welcome once again. Over to Rechnam. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I really agree with you that these early educators really deserve an applause, right, for doing a great job. Thank you, sir. We have another educator who has a passion for fostering academic growth and is the co-founder of BTAC. He is the principal of Gokulam Public School, Trivendram. I cordially invite, invite Mr. Biju sir to articulate his views and facilitate the gathering. Thank you, Rinsna, ma'am. Thank you. Sir. Good evening, uh, Dr. Thank Abdul you. Salam, sir. Uh, Rinsni, ma'am. All and all the other early educated, uh, most respected uh, personalities uh, of uh, today's platform. As I was listening to our. Uh, more uh, directors uh, uh, talk like uh, recently we had the send off in our school uh, for the 12th standards so mostly uh, what will happen is uh, all the teachers uh, from standard session will be honored there but actually this time what i did is uh, i brought all the kg teachers there and uh, they were the first one who all the uh, 12 standard children bow down because they were the actual pillars and a stepping phone towards their success. So actually as uh, Dr. Abdul Salam sir told, they are the real pillars and they are the real hard workers who bring out with uh, many engineers, doctors and all others. So well begun is half done. So let us first bow down to all the, our respected uh, early educators for their very hard work doing successfully bringing the new generations uh, bringing uh, molding them because uh, we are giving a half boiled or uh, a uh, unmolded thing and they are the one who is first giving a shape into that so let us hear from rajini ma'am uh, good evening ma'am after long years uh, we are meeting again good evening so let us uh, hear to that uh, personality's uh, hard work so it will be a wonderful day for all the educators around the globe to hear Renjini ma'am. And uh, I wish you all a very good evening. Let, let, let me remain. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, without further ado, let me introduce our esteemed resource person for today's session. We are fortunate to have an incredible resource person with us. She has over two decades of engagement in early years with a master's degree in child care have an experience of more than 18 plus years in working with young children development, she strongly believes that children should bloom on their own and as adults, we should never hurriedly peel off their petals. Rightly said, ma'am. She's an NCFE approved cashy assessor and trainer serving the Middle East region. She has an additional SENCO certification from Cashy UK. She's also serving as a curriculum specialist for Indian projects and very strongly associated with extra mile education and training. A continuous professional development speaker for the topics in and around the early years. 
Ms. Ranjani is a master trainer for early years education and looks forward to train teachers on the hands-on resources as per the international standards. Eager to embark on new challenges, she is committed to making a lasting impact on the educational landscape, fostering an environment where every student can flourish and every educator can thrive. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present to you our esteemed resource person, Ms. Ranjani. Please join me in welcoming Ma'am Ranjani. Ma'am, I request you to take over the proceedings for the evening. Good evening, Abdul Salam, sir. Thank you so much. It's a, always a pleasure to work under the mentorship of Abdul Salam, sir. So it's always a pleasure. Thank you, Biju, sir. It's been quite some time. We didn't meet, and I'm very happy to see you on this platform. Thank you, Rachna, ma'am, for that wonderful coordination and uh, lovely guest over here. And I'm very, very excited. And I've been decking up myself as well as my classroom since 2 o'clock on this you know, to make it uh, warm and nice and welcoming. I have a lot of things arranged here. And uh, our topic is learning, interacting, playing, playing, interacting, learning. You can put vice versa. It will only give fun for the children. So with this, I would like to start. I'm going to screen share my deck first. Um, just requesting Ms. Rachna to... Let me know whether uh, you know she is able to see my screen share. Are you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. All Perfect. right. All right. So the topic is playing, interacting, and learning. And uh, I would uh, like to invite you all to connect me on the LinkedIn professional network because a lot of things are happening. So I request all the earliest practitioner to take a snapshot of this and come over there to, you know, look into uh, further connections. Yeah, that's my number as well. You can connect with me if you have any doubts in early years. Yes, that's also possible. So we're going to first see the topic in general, general observations on children. So if you start from home, let's start from what we know. Uh, from home, we have children. We all are mothers over here. And when we have children, we never say that um, I have these toys for you. And when you play for half an hour, you're going to learn English. You're going to learn uh, math. You're going to learn colors. You're going to learn whatever. You never say that. You just give them and they play. So the first part is unstructured play without adult support we never say that you know i know my son is playing and he's going to build the blocks i told him to build 10 blocks no nothing like that what's your son doing what's your child doing he's just playing he's just playing unstructured from home it starts from there so general observations on children is it starts from an unstructured way later on it comes to child initiated play and adult support for an enabling environment. That's when they put you on to school, right? So when you put you on to school, child is initiating there also because at home, the child was only initiating. The mom and the dad did not say that, you know, come on, I, I have a learning objective for everything that I have bought for you. No, they just got some toys. That's all. That's it. So when they are sent to school, basically what happens is the child is initiating something and the adult is supporting there. The adult is the teacher. We call the teacher as an EYP, early years practitioner. In early years, we call her as an EYP. She is enabling an environment just the way I have enabled today. I wanted to enable my environment to do the class. Online or offline doesn't matter. Enabling environment is important, right? It adds up a flavor to your class, yeah? And sensitive interaction, that's most important. We need to underline that word, sensitive interaction, which means children are different. For example, Ms. Rachna is different, and I am different, and we all are different, but our teacher is Abdul Salam, sir, for example. So what he will do is he will sensitize the interaction between him and me and him and her because our learning styles are different, so he will tweak his teaching styles. Whereas he is not differentiating between Rachna and Ranjani. For him, both are same as a student, but his teaching styles differ because he is sensitizing. Next comes the next one. You can see on the left side, 
focused learning, adult guided, playful, experiential activities. So once the stage is set, the adult, whenever I say throughout the session, adult, adult is the earliest practitioner, the teacher. When she has set the stage for the child, now she is giving some kind of a focused learning. Then she brings in, like we all have in the school, 10 topics in a, in a year. Yeah, transport, myself, school, many things, animals, this, that, solar system, whatever we have. Yeah, the cyberspace and many things. So we have a focused learning. So what does the adult do here? That is the teacher. She gives playful experiential activities. That's something that I have in my deck as well as in my home today, a lot I have. Then there's another part, which is a bit risky, but I wanna say that to you, highly structured. Some people say that we are highly structured, ma'am. Yeah, we have everything in place and we know what we are doing. So it's completely adult directed, zero play. So what happens is there is no use. So you give an Apple worksheet and tell the child that Apple, app, and I want you to give the stroke from left to right, left to right, left to right. And all the children will do only left to right. What will happen to the apple if you do from right to left? Nothing will happen. And why only apple? Why not an alligator or an ant for letter A? Why are we insisting on a worksheet for apple all the time? So highly structured sometimes, but zero play. So there is no use. So these are general observations. We started from home. We were just playing very happily. Parents put me into a school. There my teacher was able to synthesize. She gave me some you know, enabling environment that is the place to belong. It is not a threatening place for me. It's a warm place, home away from home. I was at home, now I'm kind of a home it is. She's, my mom was there, now she's my mom. So the kind of the warmth that you get. Then comes a more experiential learning that is, he has several things to give a concept. And another one, which I don't want, I don't want the highly structured one where completely adult is directing and there is no play, there is no use. So I don't want this, yeah? All right, so let's go to the next one. Yes, so you know that our topic is playing, interacting and learning. So I have divided my deck into three parts, all right? So playing. Playing, as I told you, two types. I want you to take notes. It's going to be of highly helpful to you. Adult initiated play, child led play. When the adult is leading something, it is often planned by the adult and introduced to children to new experiences. Yeah. For example, 2D shapes. So she will say, anything flat is 2D. Anything fat, who ate a little more, becomes 3D, she says. So some, some fun activities she gives for a concept. All right? So that is initiated by the adult. And then it is initiated by the adult because the child is learning a skill and a knowledge. So you see an adult, the teacher is sitting there. Child is building the blocks. The teacher is giving one by one. Why? It could be because the child doesn't have a fine motor to hold something. So the teacher is initiating the fine motor right from the beginning. She's, you know, starting something for the child. So she has a purpose in mind. Next comes child-led. Child-led is fantastic. Sandcastle or a racetrack. It can be anything. Look at the picture. You don't even know whether he's going to do a castle or a racetrack. Child-led. He will do whatever he likes. And the next one, you give the building blocks. I've said this in n number of my CPD sessions. I went for a nursery visit and there um, the teacher gave some blocks to the children and one child started to build something because we live in UAE. And the teacher said, wow, I'm so happy you built a Dubai frame. The, the child looked up and said, miss, it's a giraffe. So you need to wait for the child to finish. Why it has to be a Dubai frame if you are in UAE? It can be a giraffe like that. Yeah, so that point in time, I was telling my uh, students that, I mean, teachers that, never ever conclude what the child wants to do. The child wanted to do a giraffe, let him do. So if you see the left mode extreme picture, sand castle or racetrack doesn't matter, only the child knows. Yeah, we just allow him, it is child led. So now you can ask me a question, Miss Ranjini, which one is good? A balance of both is good. 
because sometimes you have many things in the class as per the early years, the seven areas of development and children always go only to the role play or they go only to something with messy play. They don't want to do literacy and numeracy. So what happens? Adult led isn't there. So adult led and child led should be kind of a good balance. Yeah. So we conclude with that, with this deck. And we're going to go forward with, yeah. Now you need to know what the child led will give you, right? It will give you full control and over the outcome of what they are doing. So he wanted to make a castle or a racetrack. So we don't know, yeah? And creativity and innovation comes out. It was just a block. The child did until there. If he would have done the sleeping line, it would have become a castle or even a Dubai frame. But he made just a face and an eye and he said it's a giraffe. It is his creativity and his innovation. That's something that we have to appreciate, right? All right. So that's one. Let's go to this one. So this picture is playing. So we have taken only playing now. This is completely playing. You can see children. They are playing together. They are speaking. They are digging the mud and many things will come out. They can see insects. They can see spiders. Yeah. And maybe wantedly the teacher would have I've kept some plastic toys inside that for them to find. It's called a scavenger hunt for them. They are doing a lot of things. They are enjoying, in fact, at the outdoor. Let me go to the next one. Learning. So I have an example for playing. Now I have taken you to learning. I want you to take a snapshot of this. It's going to be of great help to you. In the early years, you have seven areas of development. The first three are prime. The next four are specific. They are prime because it doesn't matter if the child doesn't know to speak in good English, which is literacy, doesn't know the phonic sound like mm, b or k or whatever. Doesn't matter if the child doesn't know 10, 11, 13, 14, or even 1, 2, 3. Doesn't matter if the child doesn't know about rockets. Doesn't matter if the child doesn't know to sing a rhyme. It's important first for the child to have personal, social, emotional development. That is, I'm Ranjani. I feel good about myself. I would like to go to school. I like my teacher. And physical development. I can open my own water bottle. I can drink water. I can tell my teacher that I want to use the washroom. I, I can share with my teacher that, my teacher, I'm, I'm actually hungry. Please give me food. I can say all of that. For that, I need communication in language. To open my own water bottle, to open my own snacks box, to undress myself in the washroom, I need physical development. So they are prime. Apart from that, whatever you do is specifically literacy, phonics, specifically reading and writing, specifically foundational literacy and numeracy, specifically understanding about the world, community helpers, teacher, plumber, electrician, transport, animals around your world. Then comes expressive arts. You can express in any way you want. So these are the seven areas. Let's go to learning now. Young children are not passive learners. They always enjoy hands-on activities. That's why our class and the lesson plan is full of hands-on activities and brains-on activities. They need to keep thinking. So sometimes, uh, actually, Sir was saying, Abdul Salam Sir was saying, it's so difficult to manage children in the class because if they are not properly engaged, that is when they will give you trouble. They don't know what to do. They do not know how to, you know, bring out their energy in a very positive manner. And definitely they are not passive learners. They're very active. So they start to, you know, do something which is unwarranted in the class, trying to push someone or bite someone. I have some nice toys for biting children. I'm going to show you at the point of the show. They actively drive in their own learning. Yeah, they're very intelligent. Children are very intelligent. And then they make their own choices. And then they also ask a humpty number of questions. You should have answers. Yeah, these days children are doing a lot. They are very competent. So learning. So they are learning. They're very good. Okay, let's go with that positive note. If they have to learn, now you should know what is the role of the teacher. So let's go in a, in a very progressive way. The first one was playing. Next one is learning. So now role of an EYP, earliest practitioner. 
I have highlighted in blues, which are very important. Practitioners have a key role in building the right conditions of learning. That's nothing but your enabling environment here. Yeah, that is the first thing. If you want to invite somebody to your house, you will first cook and, you know, make all arrangements and then bring the guest. Same way to bring the children inside the class. Come on, deck up your class. Yeah. All right. Children feel known and valued as individuals. This is very, very important, especially the cash courses that we are assessing and training the learners. We take this as a very important unit for them because just imagine, for example, just example, Ms. Rachna, okay, because all of us will understand. I'm just pairing you and me here for everything that I speak. If, if I don't respect Ms. Rachna, Ms. Rachna as an adult, she will come to know in the fifth minute or even a microsecond. All right. If I waste time of Miss Rachna here, she will come to know very easily. Just imagine children, they are so innocent. They don't know that you are wasting time for the next 40 minutes with them because you don't have a proper planning to give them. Right. So there's a difference between the child and the adult. The child is so, so innocent, doesn't know that you're wasting time. So please value the child as an individual. That's the point I'm making here. It's very important. We respect them as individual. Right. Okay. So, and also we know that their own rate of development should be respected. They're not all the same. Yeah. The learning speed in which I do, the rate and sequence will differ from Ms. Rachna completely. Right. And children time must be managed. That's most important. That's why we have differentiation. We have different activities here. We deeply involve the children in the activities. If you want to have all of these skill set, look at the right side. Strategy of differentiation is important. That is, it should be a seven part activity. Kindly write down, please. It will be of great help to you. One single activity. I'm going to give you an example. For example, you're going to do colors. That is the topic. You brought all the children to the circle time. You showed different color cards and said that this is red, blue, green, whatever. Now you send the children to the seven part activity. You have divided your class into seven tables. And now the child who is interested in math will go and count all that is in red and say four or five blocks or five uh, you know, pebbles or five pencils or five crayons or whatever. So colors through math. There are several letters there, letter sounds there. Your, your topic is colors. Now this particular children, group of children will go to literacy. They will pick up all that is in red flashcard and say all the phonics there and bring all the cards. Colors again. Yeah, they will bring strawberry. They will bring pomegranate. They will bring everything in red, fruits and vegetables, and they will bring it. They will put all the yellows and bananas and whatever you have all in one, you know, whatever the basket. So colors through language, through math, through understanding the world, through expressive arts. They can go, they can have an easel board, they can do stamping, they can do scribbling. Yeah, all of that is in colors. I take all the red pen, all the different shades of red, I can take it. All the different shades of yellow I can bring. Whereas you just asked me to do only yellow. Look at me, I'm very intelligent. I can go and give you different shades of yellow. So how that this happened, this happens because of differentiation. One single A4 sheet plan, 25 children in the class, one single adult brain has to cater to 25 different brains. How is it possible? That is only because of the seven part activity. It matches the teaching style to the learning style. That's it. Very simple. To manage young children is very simple. You just need to know the key. That's it. Yeah. All right, so that's the role. Now comes the next part, interacting, yeah? We said playing, now learning, now interacting. So whenever you say interacting, you can interact only with hands-on resources. With elderly children, you will can bring a lot of things, worksheet, here also worksheet works, but more than a paper worksheet, only hands-on works with young children. I'm talking about zero to eight years or zero to five years or eight years, whatever is the thing, hands-on. I would like to explain because the pictures I have brought in here, they are not from the internet. 
they are from the places where I visit nurseries and my teachers have made it in front of my eyes, all of it in my presence. So I would like to add that value to you all. All right. If you can see this, this is the fruit jelly. She has mixed it at home, refrigerated it, brought it to the next day to put in all the animals here in this box because they are water animals. They get into the blue jelly. The ones on land gets into the green jelly. They are jelly. The children can play. By mistake, if they put in their mouth, nothing will happen because it is food color and fruit jelly. And the parents' permission are already taken. Look at the risk assessment that she does before conducting an activity. There is a sheet for them as risk assessment. No sharp edges, no wet floors. All the cleaning materials are away from the reach of the children. Allergy list ensured. They have this list and every teacher will do this. Only then she will do an activity. It's a part of her duty in the morning. And now, you know what she did? Awesome. She placed a nice mat here. She gave them some scoopers and she gave them pictures of animals, pictures of uh, sea animals as well as land animals. And you know what? The interesting part is the age group is only one to two. And the one to two year old, it is so challenging for them to see an actual toy, a whale, and a picture of a whale and match, it's not easy. So what happens is children have listening, attention, and they sit also in one place and find these stuffs. They also mess around because they like it. And then hand wash is given, of course. They are given aprons also so that they don't miss their dress. So this is such a beautiful hands-on. It's called a sensory activity. All right? Senses, sense of touch sense of smell the fruit smell comes out and now look at this one this last picture yeah they have all their work hanging on to that central beam it's a simple cardboard whatever they work they will take a wooden peg you know the wooden peg where you put in on the clothes for drying they will take and they themselves will pick when a child can press the wooden peg the child can write and draw and do everything because it's a fine motor skill all right so let's go to the next one. So interacting means you cannot interact with a child with a lecture. You can't interact a child with highly profiled, high structured documents. You can only interact with a child with hands-on. Let's go to the next one. Beautiful. I, I, I was enjoying this when the teacher was working with children. She has nice popsicle sticks and then small, small pom-poms to a simple cardboard with small slits. It's a hole there. Can you see it there on the left side, this one, where my mouse is hovering? The child now has to take the red and match with the red pom-pom. The next stage of learning is first matching. Next is the child has to say, pom-pom is small and big. Yeah, shape, size, and measure. Everything is covered in one single cardboard. Today, whatever I'm, resources I'm showing you, it can be made very easily. You don't have to spend a lot of time. That's why I'm showing you that. So this is a beautiful math activity. Look at the next one. They were a cardboard they were about to throw. Then the nanny picked it up and she said, I'm going to make some holes. There. She made some holes. She said, know your number. She gave a title also. And every day they take pencils from here and they should, when they keep it, should be four pencils, five pencils, six pencils. Look at that one. So sweet it is. Yeah, that's hands on there. Now let's go to the next one. These are real pictures of our nurseries. That's why I brought in here. Can you see how beautifully they have decked it up? Classes are like this. You know why we said home away from home? Children means they need cozy corners like this. They need to sit here and work. Only then they'll feel good. They don't feel threatened about things. Soft, matte and then some cozy corners, some books for them, library, and simple things. After they work, they will all hang it here only. They feel like a forest. They feel like everything that is there around them. These are all classes. And you know, I need to definitely explain this for differentiation for you. This one, the teacher gave simple cutouts of leaves. She said, this is your soil, that is the root, and gave a simple stem, that's all. She just gave it in pieces like that. There were four hands. Can you see the four hands? They were all there. Children were there. They all did it very differently. Can you see how different it is? On the other side, there are no leaves. 
he didn't want to have a flower he said i'm still growing up this child said i will take your flower i want two flowers all right whoever wants whatever they took it and look at them everything is different look at the pattern here there is no gap here there there is a gap here nothing over here but it is here here nothing on the other side they all did it differently and at the end of the day they learned what is planting because they did the seed planting at the outdoor and then came and did this in the indoor can you see here we are talking about oh why don't you why are you touching it is so hot and stuff here they teach them this is 2 to 3 year old class hot hot pot means fire will be there yeah you can't touch that's what they are saying don't touch so they have a glow and children even during pretend play they will use all this so that at home when the mama is not there they will not go and touch they are taught even in the school life skill it is for them yeah look at the topic so this is art of differentiation these are all enabling environment if you want to interact with your children class should be like this yeah let's go to the next one now these days you know i must say that children doesn't even know how to express if they are upset if they are angry because as adults sometimes at home also if the child does something or speaks unwarranted words or something the mom or the adult they just give a staring look which means don't talk more if you stare once it continues forever you allow them to put their heart out once and sit with them to teach them why they felt like that that is why we do emoji cards with them these are all emotions can you see different eyes different emotions different mouth different kind of you know angry happy sad excited we do this in school with them we tell them a story we tell them can you show your emotions what will happen if somebody snatches your toy the child will say i'll i'll be angry then what will you do i'll stomp my feet after that you have to drink water darling all right i'll drink water and then what we can do let's do yoga because we are angry so let the anger come out don't suppress your anger but understand what's the way out otherwise what happens is it is staying inside it will not trouble them for 0 to 8 it will trouble them when they are 13 they will not know how to manage their emotions later when somebody snubs them when there is a whatever the disappointment they'll not be able to manage stuff from 12 to 13 or 14 from after that until 18 they are like this they should know how to manage their emotions a lot of activities are there look at construction corner nothing is told to them what to do every environment is enabled there is a castle there are some toys everything is in the tray just go open the tray work when the work is done the children will tidy up like this otherwise they can't go to the next corner that's the that's the behavior that they learn i'm talking about 3 to 4 class yeah so a lot of things like this you know their work are like this several baskets are kept they must know which basket to put they can't mess it up they will learn things day by day let's go to the next one this is very very cool and you know what happened is this is the baby class all right can you see baby stuffs over there this is 0 to 2 class where small kitchen is there they have a small wash basin also they have everything over there soft toys technology what is a technology for a child just pressing this itself is a technology can you see it this itself is a technology doesn't even know how to press stuff they are small children yeah technology is that for the children so they have several knobs and can you see this one every risk assessment is done this is a cap for the edges yeah you must have for your children in the class for the table so that they don't get hurt the black one is a cap for the table edge that's why i brought in here and then there was a there was a time where you have a dinosaur you know it says that a dinosaur is seen in the cctv camera in the nursery can we all find the footprints of the dinosaur that's the title for that whole week and children in the investigation corner they all became they wore their white coats they become scientists they are finding the footprints of the dinosaurs whole day they were finding the dinosaurs here and there and then finally they found the dinosaur at the outdoor this is the outdoor the last pick and then they have a easel board they drew the dinosaur the toy was there so it was like you know a hunt for them yeah very encouraging very investigative on that they understood about scales of dinosaur how the egg looks when it opens how does it come 
they saw videos of dinosaurs so example is dinosaur you can keep anything you want like butterflies or whatever you want from caterpillar to butterfly life cycle can do anything i want to saying that you know it should be explorative for children they should put their mind body and consciousness to find something now if you see healthy eating simple ones a tray is there happy face sad face sometimes you take so much effort to tell a mother right mama please don't give chips enough of junk foods yeah if the child is playing with this and if you take a picture and send it in the parent app saying that mama this whole week is healthy food yeah no junk foods no chocolates all right so first thing is you smiley it is carrot and stuffs sad face burger and pizza but is it like i should not eat burger and pizza at all in my no 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 treat day it's a friday that that day you can eat is something like that on a birthday oh it's okay go out with my parents all right it's okay but does don't make it as a practice yeah it's like that then can you see this one a mirror talk mirror mark and i'm talking about 2 to 3 year old 1 to 3 2 year old have a big mirror all right in the class they all sit they are given several markers they will look at the mirror they will draw their eyes because they can see their reflection there they understand about themselves rather than giving a worksheet and say that myself myself draw your circle two hands two legs dress uniform let them first of all see themselves in the mirror every kg class must have a mirror should have a mirror yeah it should be on the wall it is a must all right so it's a mirror uh, mark and a talk they marked and they spoke they in the mirror they saw their friends also and they said that you have curly hair and i have straight hair and they were able to appreciate each other diversity is also there right yeah all right so let's go to the next one fine motor skill if a child can do this beat turner this is called a beat turner yeah if you can turn this beat the child can write easily in two and a half year old this one and if the child is so hyper unable to sit in one place you should put the child in this walking mat there are footsteps can you see the child will walk and sometimes some children who are a little bit getting into autism and all that can't jump more than three times they will fall if you see such children with such difficult needs you should help them walk in this mat and do a bit of your observation and assessment before you give them to the senko department all right and then simple sensory you have these are all children work you know children stuffs actually i mean i'm i'm talking about children toys they sit they work and then they try to you know build something these are all sensory as well as construction for them very simple ones and uh, i take pleasure in uh, yeah most important see this technology for the babies as i told you again it's all several phone the numbers that they press these are the technologies for them you keys and stuff just like i told you you know i have this toy yeah it's it's a tass and knob and the children have to close one eyes and look into it and then they can see some nice um, cuckoo and birds and whatever it's inside it's an animal um, camera stuff it's all full of animals yeah so these are all tech toys for the children now i would say strongly that the resources that you plan will cover half of your learning i go with biju sir because he said that whatever you do at the beginning it is helping you 80% so look at this you are teaching colors the paper cup has a crepe paper which has different colors so after teaching colors the red crayon will go only to the red cup this itself is done your resource itself is teaching colors for them you don't have to separately that's why eyp teachers should be very smart and doing the lesson plan they need to tweak and do things if they are going to give some drawing they should uh, you know put in color concept also there give resources also there three in one finish all right over they don't have to do separately they should be smart in planning all right let's go to the next one yeah this is more beautiful a visual timetable to tell what is there for the day yeah this one Mo you know what i i was uh, with abdul salam sir in finland and we went we all went together for a, a senko a special needs school a normal school but we had a session for special needs they had the cue cards if the child is unable to speak and communicate washroom they will show the card the child will point out then the child is taken to the because he is still developing on his speaking skills 
for the other children normal children that we have in the class we need this visual timetable just not for the sun children please have this visual timetable if if you want if you see a child's hand dirty a nose which is running nose show the picture and the child will go and wash hands and come yeah that is important if you want the children to sit in the circle time have a picture of a circle time like this and invite the children they will come and sit don't waste your throat we should be smart enough to interact with children that's what we are talking today now see this is the beautiful you know it gives a forest look they know the creepers they know their trees they know everything there what's a greenery yeah everything is indoors these are all indoors i'm talking this is a beautiful small world you have algae yeah these are all toy algae you have grass and then you hide all your concept for example if you want to do triangle 2d shapes put all the shapes inside the stuff tray this is called a stuff tray yeah they mount it you know they are very child friendly trays children will stand and they will work on it they will find everything yeah look at this one it's a toy actually it's it's a carrot and tomatoes they are cloth i'm going to i have a lot of things today i'll show you so they are actually cloth the one to two even if they bite nothing will happen but you know what will happen child a also will bite child b also will bite right so we have a mouth basket once the teaching assistant see it the child is putting she immediately put it in the basket sanitized and it is brought back all right so we have such toys so the teeth thing you know that the teeth comes out they feel like biting something so we do give them mouth toys to bite so that they don't bite the other child this is how we you know kind of you know manage their um, urge to bite yeah we also tell that particular week to bring carrots with the parent we write a mail to the parent mama please bring some carrots your child wants to chew something he wants to bite something if that other child doesn't give a toy he will bite his hand finished so we manage such stuff so okay, right let's go to the next one this is very interesting emoji happy sad angry and then i think that is kind of excited yeah or lost something yeah and then you have some nice uh, soft toys one book one bottle you know what is that bottle something like this bottle it has full of colorful objects and then the teacher shook the bottle nicely she did this way that way and then put it and it was boiling for some time then she said i understand just like in the story of the monster you all have different emotions i know that some of you are happy sad excited let the all the objects settle at the bottom until then let's do yoga she said close your eyes so this is the good way to tell them to settle down yeah so they need to understand to relate with something if they can see objects there and it will settle some chunkies or some colorful pom poms they will settle down and then by the time they settle down they will be calm so whenever the child is getting angry she will put this bottle in front of the child any any a uh, fight is happening between two children for toy you also you know snatch i also snatch she puts the bottle in the front she shakes the bottle she puts it in the front what happens the children will sit in yoga position she is practicing this as a game for them and it is helping her look at this foot mat and a paw mat a child who is completely hyper cannot sit in one place is able to put the right leg left leg and one hand next goes hand in the middle left leg right leg it is a very difficult one if the child can do this in the morning for 10 minutes i bet you you can trust me the child will sit in the fifth minute in the class these are the things that we do it and then do you think it's very difficult it's just a print out you are not making anything do you think this is very difficult it's a cardboard do you think the right side is so difficult it's a it's a thrown away tissue box painted by children done by children can you see what are these these are tissue rolls all are throw away items and they are resources for you with small children you don't have to dress up so much they get pleased by your small clip and one band how miss ranjini is wearing same way they are very happy with small stuffs i must tell you this they wear a wooden board and then some rubber bands the children learned how to make letter l square and triangle with this It's very sweet work of the children so these are all hands on activities 
if you want to interact with children on shapes give such things to them and these things you can just do it by yourself you just need a cardboard and small small you know boulder standing there as uh, somebody who is good at carpentry can release this otherwise if you go and buy in the market it will cost you a lot of money these things are very simple things that you can make yourself whoever is very artistic in the class they can enable the environment yeah the art department can help you if you can build your resources for a year you can only add the newer ones and you can keep the old resources intact with you so it's all planning basically i'm going to come to the next part of my deck after this your session on the deck will be over and i have lots to show you here playing we went back and we are bringing playing children are playing and like to be with other people you can see this children are playing they love to be with other people now go to the one over here meeting physical and mental challenges for example you give something they need little more thinking then the teacher comes there she is scaffolding the children she is giving directions how to do so being shown how to do things adult initiated child led play there should be a balance that's what we said play means next look at this one this is even more interesting communicating about what they are doing with someone who responds to their ideas that's when communication and language develops for children they need to be paired with the right set of children to communicate one will not talk at all one will be very shy to talk and one will be talking and will not you know close mouth just like mr anshni will not shut her mouth so they need to be paired accordingly and then you know they will work so what happens is they are always active yeah they are always exploring they are always exploring new things and new experiences the final part over here is practicing again and again what the teacher taught using all the enabling environments they apply and repeat the skill set and finally they have fun they try again and again and again and then they have fun all right so this is the main part of what i wanted to give you and now this is the last part of i wanted to say a thank you to you before that i would like to stop the screen share we'll come on to that last part later i'm going to show you a several things that i have accumulated for you today so first let's start with this one if you remember and have attended my stories i mean like my sessions i was always using these finger puppets yeah they look like simple like this finger puppets and you know what what i'm saying is teacher means she needs to update herself so miss ranjini now updated herself and she got another one can you see this sensory toy yeah i got a small kitty for me these are also finger but they look so beautiful i have updated my you know um, cubby look at this one they're very soft children can play they like it and look at this one so these are the stuffs all right not able to see someone is saying not able to see can you see it miss jayalakshmi you're not able to see abdul salam sir can you see all right he can see miss jayalakshmi can you please check all right they can see all right so that is one updation next i wanted to show you is look at the soft book that i told you yeah these are the soft book you know what's important in this book is you teach them numbers all right and then they are very soft material they are cloth actually and then you can say 2h og and three you know what is this guy the giraffe and you have one giraffe over here as well so total four also yeah so it goes with numbers like this can you see they are very beautiful they are very soft material and one more i would like to show you is see here these are for small children small books yeah they like to see small books yeah you have a caterpillar you have an alligator you have the um, whatever the guy the lion you have everyone here a panda they very cute yeah so you have books like this so children will hear the sound they are sensory which is hearing touching seeing very cute they are okay and let me show you one by one 
last time i was showing you the magnifying glass if you would have come to my class now i have changed my magnifying glass i'm telling you that we have to upgrade that's why all right you can make triangle magnifying glass you can make square magnifying glass and you can make circle magnifying glass give them a hat and ask them to explore your class whatever is in circle shape at least children will bring out a clock at least they will bring they will at least show where it is all right so this is called a scavenger hunt for the shapes and children always like and then if it is sandwich and then they will look into this because it's a transparent material can you see and then they will use this and they will find all the shapes they have to walk and find yeah it's so cute and let me show you one more so this is the book i said the children can chew can you see this material the small babies can chew they can bite they can't tear it can be washed just like your cloth yeah something with cloth these books are with cloth so the dinos here you see big little and you teach them vocabulary right when they are two and a half year old just give something like this yeah doesn't matter they can't tear it for sure all right so these are some nice books and uh, very beautiful ones and i want to show you one more yeah look at this one whenever you say storytelling all right look at this book a ladybug what the ladybug heard that's the story okay now you know how they read this book i'm going to read one line for you all right Once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond, and a goose in a pen, a bully sheep, and a hairy hawk, a handsome horse, and a dainty dog, a cat that howled, and a cat that purred, and then what happened? the fine prize cow and a ladybug this is how they say the story yeah they go with visual prompts for each and everything and finally they found the ladybug at the last page so this is how things are given for the children so the children are able to so the teacher will voice modulate she will make the environment now she will choose the reading corner sit there some cozy cushions and help the children sit why should children always sit like you know like this not required home right let them sit with legs stretch a little bit at least otherwise they will become cranky how you are expecting them to sit for 7 to 6 hours like that it's difficult for them sit straight sit straight how many times yeah they you need to give them a break right you get to go to the staff room to a little bit you know relax right so let them also sit down for some time get them to the circle time down to the floor home they are not sitting all the time on the chair they are only sitting down yeah get them to the story corner get them to the outdoor let them roll in the mud for some time nothing will happen to them right yeah so that's one part and i'm going to show you something very interesting can you see this yeah this is nothing but your you know uh, you wash the vessel with this the scrubber guy this one and can you see the pom poms and can you see the wooden blocks and these are all the grassy stuff you have the googly eyes and you have the popsicle stick this is the feely chart this is just made yeah you not bought all made hand made so the children will say rough shiny yeah hard soft bumpy and squishy they learn these words even while they are two and a half year old pre kg stuffs yeah and look at this one i said exploration right i was talking about exploration this is a simple stick okay you can see it's a very simple stick and at the end of the stick there is a magnet okay it is like it's like a fishing rod you can call it as a fishing rod you can have animals or uh, leave fishes let's have fishes because it's a fishing rod numbers can be put on the fishes you can catch that fish and if it is investigation then see here one magnet will stick to the other correct yes 
Yeah. Yes, it sticks. There is no doubt. But if you get the magnet to a wooden peg, if there is no metal, will he stick? Okay, let's try. Is he sticking? Nah. Is he, is he sticking to my mouse? No. Is he sticking anywhere? No. But look at this one. He is sticking. Because there is a metal stuff. Though it is wooden, it has a metal stuff. The children will, will be so curious. They will find out. So you should give just a magnifying glass. That's it. And put some, throw some wooden pegs and some uh, magnets over there. They'll try to put everywhere and see what is sticking, what is not sticking. Yeah. So these are explorative. Right. So adult initiated. I only initiated. I made it. I gave it. But I am not telling the child that you can't stick. It will not stick. I didn't say. I allow the child to explore and come back. Yeah. That is adult initiated and child initiated. I'm going to show you one more. Yeah. Look at these feely books. Yes. It says that squishy pancakes. And then, uh, I, I'm sorry, you can't touch this book because you're online. But if you touch this, this is actually feels like you can touch a pancake. It's so soft. All right. And then if you go over here, shiny grapes. It is shiny, actually. You can touch and see that it is shiny. Children are learning materials with this. Can you see this? Smooth. This is very smooth. The sandwich is very smooth. So children are learning stuff just by feeling. It's called a sensory touch, a sensory learning. All right? So that's about this. And one more is this one. All right? So it's like, you know, children need to know the sounds. Broom, broom, oosh, oosh. Bishy, bishy. They need to say. That's why, you know, we sing the song like going on a bear hunt, going on a bear hunt, squishy, slashy. You say so many things, tongue twisters for them. So they get the sound easily. After that, you should teach phonics for them. So look at this one. You have this, uh, you know, and if you move it, it will show you the color. Yeah. They understand the signal just by pushing here and there. It is so cute. And the children will say, when they start the bike and then they will say vroom vroom when they start it when you escalate it you know it's so cute to see them and then you know such sounds come there look at this one yeah so so cute so such one woo woo so they need to know what is this woo woo and then it moves here and there it moves for them so lovely one yeah all right so they are and then finally let's find zog okay so this is a beautiful one. You know, the intellect part of it is, let's find Zog the dragon. The name is Zog the dragon. Is he behind the rock? The teacher is asking. So she shows that this looks like a rock. The child will touch and the child will open and say, oh no, they are rabbits. Usually rabbits will go and hide behind the rocks. That is understanding of the world, science that she is giving. Whereas it is just a story. She started off with a story, but she has a purpose. All right. Then she shows, okay, where is Zog? Is he behind the sky? So what do you think you will understand from this? Can anyone text me on the chat box what you understand? She is asking a question. Is he flying in the sky? So why is she flying this one? What is this for the child? Who can say? Let me see the chat box. Sky, very good. Cloud, very good. Cloud it is. Yeah. So, is it flying in the sky? Sky means child should understand. Cloud will be there. When you open, no, no, no. Birds are there. So, she understands that birds will fly in the cloud. Okay. I mean, like sky. I'm sorry, sky. Same way, hay stick. Half of the children doesn't even know what's a hay and a hay stick. So, a hay stack, who will be sitting? Only a mouse. And how he will make a sound? Squeak, squeak. Yeah? So Zog is not here. Then what is this? It's a castle. Picture is there and an outline is there. When you open it, no, 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 no. King only sits in the castle. They understand all of this. Understanding of the world. Finally, where is Zog? Oh, he went behind the moon. This is some kind of a fiction story. But what you're understanding is you have a purpose in giving your resource to the child. When you plan your activities, you plan in such a way that you convey a clear concept to a child. 
you you kind of arrange everything around you in your class enabling environment means this is your enabling environment this is how you do things when you sit and teach to a child the child should have the willingness to sit the child will have willingness only when the child has interest to build on the interest the enabling environment is important nothing else is important all right you should have patience i'm very sure all of us have it and you should have the enabling environment you don't have to use so much of your voice you have so many materials around you if you can do this then this is the best thing on interactive learning these are my master tools i've been there since 18 years and been doing only this all right so i have shared everything with you and i'm giving a high five at the end for listening to me so long and thank you so much all right thank you so much do you have any questions yes you have any questions you can ask questions now we are open for questions so anyone who wants to uh, ask something you have any doubts so you are good to go please uh, raise your hands so that we can go ahead so the chat box is full of appreciations ma'am i believe you, you have really done a wonderful job yeah and i wanted them to you know uh, take take my contact if they want to come on a professional page to connect with me this is the thank you that i wanted to say thank you i try so to facilitate and help all of you yeah yes ma'am we In, have one yeah. uh, we have one query here i think all uh, right we can do the query yes 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 yeah ma'am are you able to unmute yes ma'am Miss Panchalingam. Yes. Yeah, it is. Uh, very good evening, ma'am. Ma good, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, very good evening. Uh, I am very happy to uh, look at this one, ma'am. Ma'am, one question regarding that. Ma'am, yeah. I am. Uh, I am working as a librarian. Uh, okay. How to handle the uh, KG students, early uh, students yes. in the library, ma'am? Yes. Um, yeah, Mr. Panchalingam, sir, I was a librarian for four years. Yeah, and very, uh, thankful, very happy uh, tell me <laughs> thank you and uh, yes my voice is echoing so i would request all of you to go on mute so that when i speak you can hear yeah all right got it okay one second i was a librarian for 4 years in a school because uh, i was a full time employee and i was also a librarian i was also a kg teacher i was also a music person i was doing a multi uh, a, a different uh, uh, roles so when kg children used to come i used to have um flash cards like this if they sit nicely i tap on their hand and then i have flash cards just ear part only ears i will say listening ears then i will if they are talking so much then i will say talking mouth a picture and i will say take turns while you speak and i will have a big heart and say mr panchalingam loves you so much so like this children can understand only visual prompts and in case if you are bringing a toy like this something like this and say that you know he is your student in the library and he is listening and then you are giving a sticker in the hand then the children will listen to you because for them anything is only through the puppet you should always have one teddy bear in your class or it can be anything you know for me i have a lot so you can have one person in your class a doll or something and say that a soft toy basically for kg children and say you have a new student in the library today but you know what he is so sweet he doesn't raise his mouth because he has some cue cards then you should go behind the bar and say that you know can we speak then you say yes yes then you take turns while you speak they will listen to the bar though not to you they will listen to the bar because they can interact only there with without that telling children that keep quiet doesn't work with kg children it doesn't head you know get in for me if you put me with an adult whatever they speak it will not get in here i am like that since 18 years i am with small children so i also go only with cards like this so i hope that is helpful punchling comes sir please have visual prompts bring a teddy bear and say that he is your new student in the library 
and the way he conducts if the children can conduct they get a small star or something like that simple one you don't even have to buy stars you put an easel board and give one star they are so happy yeah is it okay for you cue cards yes sir can you unmute and say all right are you able to unmute yeah yeah all right yes ma'am miss ayata hi miss ayata how can i help you hello Ms. good Roshna? evening ma'am yes hi yes good evening how are you i'm good good evening to all participants and the moderators everyone uh salam sir ma'am uh, my uh, i'm a teacher and uh, i'm working with um, the little ones that is who have just passed on from ukg to first standard okay. so you know the condition in ukg is like as you said it's very playful yeah. so as and when they come to first standard uh, their mode of teaching their subjects their patterns everything changes so yeah. i would like to ask for a suggestion how can we bring them from that playful mode to a little bit of seriousness so it's like okay. they are very when the subjects come in they are getting cranky because of all the subjects they are getting upset they are getting very the emotions we can actually see that in their faces so all right that uh, okay. the advice would be i think it would be very helpful for many of the teachers who are here present I'm at this sure. moment sure all right all right so this is called transitions in early years transition means even while the child was in ukg you should always every day for 20 minutes put the child in the grade 1 class to understand how the class looks there this is called transition and then bring the other teacher of grade 1 to come over here and give some concept to the child the child will try to settle down this happens in this part of the world 6 months before when the child is in the mid part of ukg another 6 months is there slowly the other teacher comes in transitions why the child should come and accept an adult no fate for the child why the child should get more serious if i were the child i wouldn't listen because i'm i'm used to a kind of a warm environment where my my teacher will still put hands on me and say that i'm there for you when it is show and tell my teacher will keep me next to me and she will say that i am there darling come on speak you can speak she used to say all of a sudden i'm put into a rectangular table and chair why should i even accept that change in my life this is called transition it's a very crucial thing in child's life sometimes we always say i'm calling you or oh, can't you you know and answer me are you not hearing me for the child when you are calling for example ayatha is calling me for me to look at ayatha and understand cognitive process bring it to my mouth and answer will take time i'm a child it will take time so transitions happen from the middle of the year you might say that miss our system is different we don't have time table where we can take them to the next class it's okay don't take let that other teacher come and put a substitution bring her here for 10 minutes for a story telling all right this is one part of transition number 2 is i will prefer a 12th standard class to be like this yeah it's just not kg so in grade 1 there should be learning corners whatever you saw miss aita you can completely tweak it for grade 1 it should be like that slowly do not all of the fitness i i'm not talking about kitchen set and all of that learning environment that is investigation for them that is mark making for them so what happens is they feel good about hands on for them as you as you would have listened to me in the previous slide hands on brace brains on because they are not passive learner they are active learners we want only active learners so we must create enabling environment ms aita if you try create even one or two enabling environment i'm not asking you seven just see the change ma'am you will feel very good if you want any ideas please take a snapshot of my number which is just right in front of you i will send you for a topic how to create tell me the topic i will send you pictures how to create for grade one then very soon the children will settle because for them their senses have to be engaged and then ukg children they have a habit of going home a bit early mama will give some food and they might sleep for some time 4 o'clock they'll go now time stretch 
they need to adapt all of it they will take time miss aitha is it okay for you the idea is okay is it fine may i hear from you miss miss aitha i think uh, your query is resolved we we could see some other hands also raised yeah we uh, saw another hands raised check. can we miss this nehal it was mrs nehal you ma'am you have any query nehal. hi Hi. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, from my side. Is the child is showing tantrum attitude in the class? Uh, yeah. Hello. Am I audible? You? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. You are on mute now. Yeah. Am Am I audible to you? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, if the child is. Showing tantrum attitude in the class, seeing the the his approach, the other uh, kids get affected. And it. what is the as that moment? How we because we are it. doing a lot of thing for the kids at activity and and but sometimes the child is just because of his mood upset or mood swing, he yeah. just shows that his tantrum. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Got it. All right. All right. mute back and i will tell you all right so when a child is showing tantrums in the class and looking at that particular child everyone is also taking leverage and they are also trying to show some tantrums thank you aitha for that so when they are showing tantrums what happens is the teacher becomes unsettled so you should always show some modeling good behavior in class yes so you should show the cue cards again something like this as simple as this help him to understand if he is into a mood swing bring the bottle put everything inside here because it's explorative shake and tell him that this will settle and look at the bottle for some time he will settle number 2 you can do this because i showed you in the deck also in the ppt number 2 you can give him that small ink filler and keep random four or five different shape cups different measurements and ask him to take colored water not normal because normal water children are getting bored colored water and ask him to drop it he will do it he has to stay there with this dripping for some time his mood will get settled have you ever seen even if you are angry or i am angry immediately you shout out you don't you are not control of your voices no control of emotion whereas if you take a sip of water and don't talk at all or don't type anything on the whatsapp after the fifth minute you get a little bit of clarity to understand what happened it's the same thing with the child give such activities these are all fun activities that they like yes they like juggling stuffs they like messing you can even give one more activity bring cooked noodles put all the letter cards inside it and give some food colors there give him some thorns you know the thorns and let him take only the letter card it will take some time his anger his mood swings everything will go off is it okay miss nehal you can show a thumbs up any any questions thanks any questions yes nikita miss nikita yes Hi. Hi, Miss Nikita. Are you able to unmute? Maybe that Ms. maybe that is uh, by mistake. Instead of thumb, thumbs up. Oh, Gayatri Rajesh. Gai yeah, Gai all right. Is. Probably. Hi, Miss Gayatri. All right. Yes, ma'am. Please go ahead. good evening ma'am this uh, session was very nice but i didn't got certificates last time what i attended please let me know when i will get you back all right that is the admin they will definitely do it. Yeah, okay the certificates have been dispatched to you please check your uh, spam mail okay usually it goes to the spam mail so it must be there if it is not there please write to us through mail mail okay sir Okay. okay thank actually you. i replied pre uh, last week i attended one uh, this thing so yeah I, yeah it, most of on it sometimes it happens that it lands in sp spam mail so please check and let us know okay sir i messaged to you please uh, see to it sir okay sir thank you yeah okay thank you miss okay. nikita you want to say something you have any doubts yes yes ma'am yeah, yeah. 
good evening ma'am it's vikita from bank am i sir hi yeah ma'am actually i'm a pre kg uh, teacher like a uh, hmm. uh newly i have been joined in the mid of august and uh, mm-hmm. the, the next batch is coming over like okay. how to handle a very small kids around 3 years old mom like when they come they'll be like from the home they come to school yeah. they'll be a bit like homesick you know papa yeah. mama they have the same attachment what yeah. what are the ideas we can get it for the first day of the class all right all right so i would say that you saw the environment right the enabling environment in the ppt throughout we were talking especially two and a half to three and a half soft toys something mm-hmm. even the puppets or even the soft toys or anything anything to do with soft toys or soft books even such pd books and all that these things will yes. help them they want to settle because settling right. time is something like you know you should have a bear and two bears and say that this is mom bear and the daddy bear and the mummy bear and tell mm-hmm. that you know mom and dad are always there don't worry they are going for okay. shopping they are cooking make a role play out of what you have in the class okay ask ma'am. ask the child to go and buy some vegetables and come okay, okay. let the child identify the tomato and the carrots through that thing crying crying the child will go bring the tomato and come toys Okay? okay just try to involve the children after some time they will they will really understand because role play for example if you say this is mom and this is dad two teddy bears are sitting you can say that they did not go anywhere and you can actually give a chair because i was doing it i was 13 years a pre kg teacher i always okay. have two chairs where one dad is sitting one mom is sitting all the time they are okay. in the class they did not go anywhere actually yeah it's like okay that. yeah thank you so much ma'am role play will help anything drama it will help in 2 to 3 all right okay ma'am thank you all right that's Anything great ranjini ma'am so okay. any other queries we have you can go ahead we can yes, wind up yes yes um uh, first of all thank you ranjini ma'am so much it was really yes. a wonderful session i think unknowingly children will learn so many skills right may it be collaborative skills or may it be creativity or innovation whatever i mean the, the plethora of activities that you have shared is just amazing and uh, really thankful to you for such a wonderful session uh, the Thank wonderful you. sharings uh, which you have shown to us through your activities is definitely going to help out the educators Thank special you. thanks to extra mile and its organizers dr abdul salam sir ms biju pilai sir for organizing this event seamlessly a big thank you to the attentive audience for your active participation your presence made this webinar truly enriching on that note of gratitude it's time to hear from mr salam sir once again over to you sir i have uh, just one word to speak about ranjini ma'am's presentation today that is amazing i don't know whether any adjectives can be added to it super amazing then it is, it will be super amazing because all the participants also joined the very happy very very happy because we could see that in the chat box excellent or super excellent whatever but no words to express because we have seen that you are so resourceful you are so passionate somebody was remarking that extra mail is very blessed to have such a resource person so that is true so we take this opportunity to thank god for all the talents and skills that you that god has bestowed upon you so you are very much you know helpful beneficial to the all the educators especially early years we definitely those who have joined first we have done a lot number of sessions uh, jajini ranjini ma'am has shared our platform Uh, but those who join the sessions they must realize how you know easily how easily we can make materials resources how with uh, no extra expenses so it was a real learning man thank you so much you have you know shown us the ways and means to engage the little children uh, so that hands on learning happens in the classrooms definitely the uh educators are going to make those resources no doubt uh, as you have shown most of them i know that still a lot of resources are remain behind your uh, screen 
So thank you so much. Uh, thanks everybody. Thank you, Rashina ma'am, for the nice, you know, help you have given to us for the gracious presence and the presentation. I mean, moderation. Thank you so much, Rajani ma'am, and all the participants who have joined. Thank you, Biju sir. Uh, keep connected. I really appreciate uh, those teachers who have joined today, despite this being the fasting time. So, uh, in it was the fasting, breaking the fast uh, time. So many, I have seen many uh, educators join. So it shows their passion. See how dedicated they are. So hats off to you. Uh, definitely, uh, at the same time, yeah, many could not join also. So we'll be sharing this video, this valuable video as a reference to uh, everybody. So thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sonia Narayan, ma'am. Uh, Madam has been you know, listening to you so, for long. So thank you, ma'am, for joining. Thank you, everybody. Uh, have a good night. Thank you, sir. So Thank you, everyone. I just have a, a, a few sentences for Abdul Salam, sir. Uh, sir, thanks a lot. So it's a, it's, a, it's a mercy to be under the mentorship of Dr. Abdul Salam, sir. I always look up for sessions to work with him. And I'm always available for helping the teachers. And thank you, uh, Ms. Sonia Narayan, ma'am, seeking your blessings. Thank you, Biju, sir. Thank you so much, Ms. Rachna. That was very sweet and lovely uh, participants. And uh, thank you again, Dr. Salam, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Definitely, we'll have more, more, uh, more sessions from you. Yeah. Actually, this is uh, untimed, you know, because everybody is yeah. in the heat of exams and all. Yeah. So uh, everybody is busy, but still we yeah. have, uh, you know, yeah. uh, 250, more than 270 participants. Yes. So yes. 800 plus participants have registered. We will be, you know, sending them this video. So right. let them watch at their leisure time. Yeah. Thank you so much. And good night. Thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Happy Ramadan and happy Easter again. Yeah? Thank, you, happy thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.